Okay, welcome to a little demo of Heavy Paint. So we've got a bunch of tools up here on the top. Let's run through them really quickly. We have a draw, there's a rectangle, there's line, and fill, this is one of my favorites, and C is chisel. You'll always see what tool you're on at the bottom of the screen. There's also E for eyedropper. This lets you pick different colors like that and we also have our color sliders up here so the other interesting thing about heavy paint is there's a color jitter slider right here up top so there's your color jitter the more you you put it, it behaves a little bit differently with different tools but for example with fill that's max color jitter and then you can go all the way down to really subtle and it just gives a little bit more life to your colors or you can turn it off there's also size here and this will go really wide if you if you want it to there's it's gonna go as wide as your screen basically and then finally we have this M which allows you to mix colors so for example if we start over here in the white area and just drag over it mixes to the blue or what if we start in the gray and go to the blue? So that's the basic stuff right there. We also have a color lock mode. So if we say if we press E, which is eyedropper, here let me turn off mix. I'll press E once for eyedropper. We can also press E twice and then it turns green and then now we're in auto pick color so this was a kind of an interesting way of working where when you draw it picks the color it picks the color right under your mouse when you when you start a stroke so it's kind of like you can draw shapes using the existing colors that are already there and you don't have to color pick every single time um, Let's see. You get really interesting effects when you when you start combining different tools with this mixer stuff like fill and mix. Now we get something like that. Like that. You can also change the color while you're in mixer mode to sort of premix the color. So now it says color premix on the bottom. And that means the first point will kind of well it depends on which brush, but the first point will get that color that you chose. Okay, so that's the basics right there. We have undo, redo. We also have this plus button gives you all these different tools. We can just drag through here. And you'll notice that there's a little heart next to each one. So this heart next to draw corresponds to this D up here. So if I start unharting all of these, I can basically get rid of them all. And now all we have basically no tools. We just have eyedropper and mix color. But I can say, okay, I really like chisel. I really like rect. Let's try brow. Let's try rake and um, fill gradient maybe. Line gradient. And you can see it starts adding in all the tools here. So here's chisel. Here's rect. Even rect works with mix. Um, Here's brow. There we go. Color jitter on brow. We have rake. Fill gradient. This one's nice for shadows. You can just make little corners of shadows like that. And um, and then also. We can change textures by either clicking on the letter again, and then here's our texture. So you know, I'll change it to something else. Let me try fill, fill stretch. This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna say okay here. Fill stretch.
and yeah so a lot of the tools work with these textures there's there's a few that don't but most of them do so just play around with it you can get some really cool weird effects same thing with chisel you can change the uh, texture here of the chisel get really weird stuff going on um, mixing what else do we have oh there's all these other options here which I'll let you kind of play with it yourself but basically we could say okay size goes on pressure um, just a little note that this only works on desktop right now so we can say pressure sensitivity if you have a, a tablet and there's all these different rotation modes and scatter modes and all that but well you you can play around with those finally um, if you're not into these color sliders here you can change you can customize it so go to the top left and you can change um, well you can change your canvas size here you can change to RGB sliders or hue box go lefty mode righty mode hardcore core mode is interesting it, it gets rid of the eyedropper and redo so it's a little bit more challenging but I like sometimes working without the eyedropper because you get more interesting colors that way and then this show previous color lets you see whatever the last color was that you chose just so you can compare a lot of painters were asking for that feature um, and then sound it's a little bit cheesy but anyway that's a basic uh, oh yeah you can do UI scale here and then the last thing we have is um, saving so this little file icon on the right you can switch to different pages here and see and see what's on this page here this looks like a big painting is taking a little while to load but yeah and it replays you can also skip clicking on here there's stats if you click on where it says loaded page 420 there's all these stats here um, you can you can undo all the way back to the beginning if you wanted there's no limit on undo you can also export images at higher res so for example oh and also we might want to reposition this by just moving it you just drag on this little move button here and then maybe with this one we would want to frame it too so you go up to the top left change the width and then you would say file save HP this will save the project file so you can bring it to another computer and replay it and undo and all that it'll save all the strokes for you so Bob's okay and then also you can export an image this will export a high-res PNG if you want so let's see Bob's high-res and the cool thing about this is you can export at any resolution or I mean up to a reasonable amount but you can export much higher resolution than what you painted at so let's say okay go Bob's high res and then if we take a look at the, it's gonna re uh, render the entire it's gonna sort of rebuild the entire painting from scratch at that super high resolution and then we can get our image and zoom into it really far and kind of play with it that way so I, I like working this way because then you um, you don't have to worry about uh, resolution so much. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Bob's high res. Here it is. This might okay. It's 57 megabytes. That's giving you an idea of how how big this this picture we just rendered is. But hopefully, I can open it. I believe it's opening. <laughs> it's, this is kind of a mega file now. But if we zoom in here, it should be pretty high res. My computer is dying a little bit. Anyway, I hope 
this was helpful. <laughs> Sorry for the, uh, well, there we go. We're pretty high res here. It's, uh, it's still loading in the PNG. As you can see, it's like kind of rendering the image a little bit, but this isn't even the actual resolution. It's, it's like going around and, and reading the PNG right now, but there, there we go. That's the actual, it's crazy. Okay. So I hope that helps and have fun. Uh, if you have any questions, please post in the comments or suggestions too. And uh, enjoy.